hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today in this video yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this chocolate puppet <laughs> so these toys have been raining online like everywhere you turn you see them like even online offline like every fucking where they're everywhere like they're in your face okay so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this puppet toy and chocolates and we're going to be using white chocolate that we have colored but today that's not like what we're going to be focusing on i'm going to be showing you guys how to make seven rainbow colors from just three primary colors yeah so as a cake decorator imagine you have to buy all the colors you need it means you're going to buy loads and loads and loads of them and like i don't know maybe because i'm that cheap because like i started my cake decorating journey as a student so like i'm always looking for the cheapest way out <laughs> okay but today guys i'm going to be showing you guys how to make seven different rainbow colors from just three primary colors and the colors you're going to need are blue yellow and red so let's get started so i'm going to be showing you how to make it with this puppet this rainbow puppet toy yeah okay so in each bowl i have like a hundred grams of white chocolate or candy melt whatever it is you call them okay and then i'm going to color each bowl one blue one yellow and one red so we're going to make all seven colors of the rainbow from these three colors okay so let's get started okay so i want you guys to pay attention those three colors i'm using they are chocolate colors there's a difference between chocolate colors and like regular colors if you use regular colors for chocolate it will make it cuddle and it won't like like it won't give you basically what you want because it will cuddle and be just annoying so you want to make sure if you're trying to color chocolate you buy chocolate colors not just gel food coloring or liquid food coloring like those ones do not work for chocolate colors except except it's like intentionally put there that this this color is for chocolate color if so if that makes sense okay i'm already blabbing anyway so what you want to do is take those colors after adding color to the chocolate put it in the microwave for um about 15 seconds at a time take it out and stir then if you need to melt it a little bit more put it again for about 15 seconds and then do the same thing you don't want it to you don't want to put it too long in the microwave like it will burn like chocolate burns easily and then when it burns it's just annoying and starts to cuddle as well so it's just annoying anyway so i think this red is a little too small so i'm going to add a little bit more red so it can be um you know slightly redder it doesn't work like that okay okay so while i do this i'm making yellow blue and red yes so i'm going to be putting it on my puppy toy so the puppy toy is going to be like the mold you get so that's what we're going to be doing today and then we're going to be starting from the red so wherever the red is we're going to put red where the yellow is we put yellow where the blue is we put blue and then we'll start to those are the primary colors and then we'll start to form the secondary colors from the remnants red yellow and blue that we have anyway so while i do that if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys come on i have more than 200 videos for you guys on this channel like if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe right now and give me a thumbs up on this video okay i hope you've done that okay so moving forward so now we filled in the space for red we filled in the space for yellow and then we filled in the space for blue okay so from yellow and red we're going to make orange so i'm going to take some of that yellow and i'm going to pour it into the red bowl yeah so we are going to stir it but i feel like this red was a little too much so i'm going to add a little bit more yellow food coloring so it can be more orangey yeah so if you want it to be lighter just stay don't be as lazy as i am just take another bowl and put a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow and then you can dilute that so it can be just too like too orangey or too reddish yes so the yellow can be lighter and more attractive so you should do that okay so we need to take that orange and then we need to use it to fill in the space for the orange and then you want to fill it really well like so that there won't be bubbles when you're taking out your chocolate from the puppet mold okay so to the yellow i added a little bit of blue and that's going to give us green and see how pretty this green is if you want a lighter shade of green make sure like you just add a little bit and then dilute it with a little bit more melted white chocolate and colored of course okay so now we have this blue and we're going to add some red to blue when you add red to blue it gives you purple so we are going to stir that and i think okay it's not purple enough yet so i think we should add a little bit more red food coloring to it to make it a little bit more publish is publish a word 
i'm not sure anyways i think this is good to go so we're going to add that purple oh i think i should have added a little bit more red it doesn't look purple enough it looks like a dark a dark blue anyways so we're going to put that in that spot so now that we filled out filled out all the spots that we have we're going to take the remaining um chocolate and then we're going to just like pour it on the mold from behind yes it's not going to show in front but at the back it's going to kind of look like tie and dye but the reason is because it's going to fill in those extra spaces even though you can't see it in front that way you don't waste your remnant chocolate so guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel at this point like what is wrong with you okay nothing's wrong with you please subscribe to my channel i'm begging i'm not doing shakara i'm really begging you guys thank you guys so much okay so we're going to take it and put it in the freezer for about 30 30 for about 10 minutes so and this was it after 10 minutes see how the back looks like tie and dye and you need to see the front i wasn't careful enough i don't know why i was in a hurry but i wasn't careful enough so it kind of fell apart but you're going to see what it looks like right now it's so pretty and it looks just like the actual thing okay so we're going to unmold and you want to unmold carefully and it's best you unmold from the top like unmold vertically you don't unmold horizontally like i was doing that way your pop it um chocolate is going to fall apart like they're going to separate just like this and you don't want it to separate yeah but if you separate that's not a big deal just take a little bit of chocolate and glue it back together and then it's going to be good to go so guys this is all we have today so in this tutorial today guys i taught you guys how to make all seven colors of the rainbow from three primary colors so i hope you enjoy this video thank you so much and i will see you in my future tutorials thank you and i love you did you hear the snap oh you can hear the snap because i turned off the audio <laughs> you should have heard the snap okay guys bye